x minus 2y plus 3z equals 9. Negative x plus 3y <laughs> equals negative 4. 2x minus 5y plus 5z equals 17. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put it into a matrix form. So on our first one we got 1, negative 2, 3 from our coefficients. We have to also put the answer, so we go dot, dot, dot all the way down, and we put our 9 in. Our second line is going to be negative 1, 3, 0, negative 4 from the coefficients. And our last line is going to be 2, negative 5, 5, 17. Now what we want to do is we want to get ones in the diagonal and then everything else is going to be zero. So we have a one in the first spot and I want to make that negative one below it to be a zero. So all I'm going to do is take row one and plus row two. And we're going to write a new matrix. Now our first row stays the same. second row now becomes 0, 1, 3, 5, and our last row is going to stay the same. Now since we have the 1 and the 0, our first column we want to get that 2 to also be a 0 so I'm going to use the first row I'm going to multiply it by negative 2 and add it to row 3 negative 2 row 1 plus row 3 now what that's going to do for me I'm going to be keeping my first two rows to be the same so I'll rewrite the first two rows there My last row now is going to become 0, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. All right, now we have 1 in the middle spot. Now I want to get the negative 1 below that to be a 0. So I'm going to do row 2 plus row 3. And now my first two rows again are going to stay the same. Okay. I'm going to get zero, zero, two, four when I add rows 2 and rows 3 together. Now it's starting to come together. We need to get that 2 on the bottom row there to become a 1. So I'm going to do 1 half of row 3. And what that's going to do now is, my, again, my first two rows are going to be the same. So we kept the first two rows the same, and our last row now is going to be 0, 0, 1, 2 after I divide everything by 2 or multiply by 1 half. Okay, now since we have our 1s going down in diagonal, 0s below them, I want to get 0s 
above that last one. So I'm going to do negative 3 row 3 plus row 2. That's going to get rid of that 3. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to get rid of the 3 above that. And I'm going to do negative 3 row 3 plus row 1. So our matrix now is going to become 1, negative 2, 0, 3. Our second row becomes 0, 1, 0, negative 1. And our last one's going to become 0, 0, 1, 2. All right, so now we have one more spot to get rid of. We have to get rid of that negative 2 above our middle 1. So to do that I'm going to go 2 row 2 plus row 1. 2 row 2 plus row 1. And that's going to give us a new matrix now of 1 0 0 1 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and 0, 0, 1, 2, and what that tells us now in our answer column, it tells us x, y, z, and we write that as an ordered pair of 1, negative 1, 2.